up, peeps, and welcome back to the Lionel B Show. If it's your first time tuning into the channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos, man. Also, make sure y'all click that notification bell button so anytime I drop a brand new video, y'all be the first ones to get it. Now, if y'all are not getting my video uploads, man, make sure you double hit the bell button next to the video and it will make sure you change it from personalized to all. 30 years ago, a show aired in 1988 called Family Matters. It's the show that many of us grew up on, always finding a resolve before the episode ended. However, many young viewers were left without closure when it came to Judy Winslow, aka Jamie Foxworth. Her episodes aired for only five seasons and then she completely vanished out of thin air. This unspeakable act left many viewers confused as to just how strange television can be. The then nine-year-old Jamie Foxworth went on to do the typical things that kids do and remain largely out of the limelight. The show moved forward without so much as a mention of her name, the daughter that disappeared. Show producers indicated that there wasn't very much space for her in the show anymore, and others indicated it was because of budget cuts. Steve Urkel, aka Jaleel White, was carrying the show after they introduced him between seasons, and Jamie Foxworth was completely dismissed on the show. On her final episode, she went upstairs for punishment from her mother and never came back downstairs. In her teens, she began singing and landed a deal with record label Twism along with her sister. And she stopped being in the entertainment industry due to having extreme anxiety and panic attacks that derailed her career. With going through her conditions, her family began to have some harsh financial difficulties and she felt like her only option was to get into the adult industry. She starred in several films and this upset the cast of Family Matters. So much so that she was never invited to any of the Family Matters reunions and she became the black sheep. Um, I mean, at that time, I didn't really understand that the family depended on me because at the time my mom did work. She was a working singer. So she sang behind, you know, some of the great Stevie Wonder, Chante Moore. She sang behind a lot of people. So I didn't really see it as just everything falling on my shoulders until she decided that she was going to be more involved with our career. And she kind of stopped touring and working. And that was around the time where I was like 13, 14. And um, as far as the acting jobs, I just, you know, it didn't really slow down. I just wasn't all that interested in it. And um, uh, when, when I became like 16, 17, that's when we started falling on hard times because I really wasn't interested in acting. And um, all the money that we did have, the well, bulk of it was from me being on Family Matters. So I didn't really understand it until I hit 16, 17. And it's, um, it's very, it's stressful. And it's, it can be hurtful as well, too, because you're thinking, well, do I have to get another big job just, just to support my family? It's, it's, it's confusing at that time. So it definitely seems like Jamie went through a lot of things, man. Being a kid and having such a big responsibility to take care of an entire family. And it seems like her mom was wanted to be more of a momager and not really wanted to bring those ends in anymore. So it looks like at some point she basically had to go and do what she had to do. Regardless if she liked it or not, you could tell she was pretty much done with acting. She didn't really want to do any of the acting scenes anymore. She got booted off of Family Matters. So she seems like she went through so many different things, man. And that's got to be tough for such a young woman to have to basically face everything that a normal adult has to face. And also, you know, if you heard her make mention that a lot of the money actually came from Family Matters. So, you know, whatever residuals she was getting from that show, that was actually keeping everybody afloat. But at some point, it became to be not enough. Now, now she's going to actually talk a little bit more about her uh, starring in some of those controversial films and things like that. And also how it actually affected her. Y'all check this out right here. Not majority, but half of the world will see you as. They'll see you as that's what you did and that's what you'll forever be. But for me, I redefine myself by being a mother and by connecting back with my family as a whole and remembering who I was growing up. So that's the biggest way that I put it behind me because I have people that support me that don't 
look at me on a daily basis and kind of shun me out and make me feel shame about it. And I stay away from negative people that want to want to say negative and hurtful things because that's the only way that you can get through something like that that's, that actually changed your life is to stay positive and to stay around positive people. So it kind of leads one to think, man, when Judy Winslow actually went upstairs, she actually went up there to do something crazy, maybe with a video camera. No, nah, I'm just playing, y'all. But yeah, it looks like, man, she definitely went through a lot of stuff. I mean, I'm pretty sure there was other outlets, other ways to get money. I'm not really sure why on earth she actually turned to doing those types of films when there's so many other opportunities she could have done. Now, the question remains to be seen if this will actually affect her further in her career. I mean, obviously, she hasn't been invited to any other reunion shows. Nobody at Family Matters really rocks with her except the little young boy that was actually on the show itself. But everybody else, they're kind of estranged from her. Nobody else deals with her. Um, you know, of course, the, the father, the mother, you know, a lot of those people are not really in contact with her. Or, you know, I think a lot of them are actually just ashamed that she, you know, she would even go down that path. But of course, you know, it's, it's not so much to judge her on her path because, you know, people got to do what they got to do to get their money together. However, it's, it's very strange that that's something that she actually chose to do when there were so many other opportunities she could have taken. Now, I know with her health uh, going downhill, she probably felt like that was something uh, a lot less pressure or more pressure if you really want to be a uh, pun intended. But I mean, yeah, definitely crazy information, man, that, you know, she was basically kicked out of the whole show. Her life went downhill. Money was bad. And now she's back. She seems like she's trying to do more more acting now um hopefully you know her health is under control but she did have an opportunity as being a singer so it looks like a lot of the opportunities that she did have she actually stopped doing everything that could have benefited her you know for instance being signed with shaquille o'neal's twism records you know i don't even think that's even a record label anymore but even still that was an opportunity to, to kind of keep her in the limelight but i can see you know if you, you know if you're suffering through different issues and things like that of course, you need some time out, take a time out. But if you got so much talent in acting and singing, you know, there could have been a lot more positivity going on. But there is a light at the end of the tunnel with her particular story. Now, Jamie is a mother and that actually turned her life around tremendously. It gave her something more to live for. It gave her, it basically gave her something to be more positive about. Y'all check this out, man. She's going to be talking about her son. Y'all check this out here. Changed my life immensely. Um, he's a he's very energetic. He's a funny four-year-old. He's very smart, very inquisitive. He's a lot like me when I was younger. Of course, he has a little bit of his dad's ways, but <laughs> he has a, he, he's a lot like me. And it, it just made me remember why I'm here on Earth, you know, and why I'm supposed to be in this moment at this time children can definitely change you some of us it can definitely make you a lot more mature and it gives you inspiration to want to be better and go further in life now with her being a popular child star um she was also posed the question you know would you allow your children to be within the entertainment industry of course not the adult industry but the regular TV industry, and this is what she had to say on that. I don't like saying no. My first answer is not to say no. I don't know what he wants to do. I don't know if he's going to want to be a doctor, engineer. I don't know what he wants to do, but I will give him the tools if he does want to do it at an early age. Now, that is Jamie Foxworth's story, man, of as of today. Um, of course, Family Matters, man, they are celebrating 30 year anniversary. I know some of y'all will listen to this video like, dang, we is getting old. Yes, 30 years ago, the show came on 1988, man. They're celebrating the 30, 30th year anniversary. She did put a post up on Instagram. Not all of the cast members responded. Only one of them did, man. So it's interesting to see, you know, what's going to actually happen with the rest of the cast if they will do another reunion where she's actually included because they did do a reunion show before and she was not invited it's just like just like on the tv show how she just definitely did not exist so y'all don't forget to double tap the bell button change it from personalized to all so that way anytime i drop a brand new video 
y'all will get it first. I know some of y'all saying y'all get my videos days later. I want y'all to be able to get my videos right on time, man, because you know your boy Lionel B is definitely going to keep y'all up to date. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, man. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos. Share the videos, and I'm going to peep y'all on the next one. Holla.